improvisation is that, you know, walking into a fire of unknown and trying to get something out of it. So when, when there's that respect and adulation from the crowd, it's like, man, it's the big green light for us to just, you know, run forward and try to, you know, create some sort of Super Bowl play out of it. It's just like a back and forth feed from, you know, the, uh, the crowd to the band and then the band back to the crowd. And that happens. I can't really describe how that is, but it's the most amazing thing in the world. Because when you feel it coming back at you and you're shooting it back, and it's that big circle, that cycle, that is one of the best feelings in the entire world. Kind of like when you go to a ball game and there's just, you know, total pandemonium, you know, with the audience and just them getting psyched about, you know, the game and getting the players revved up. It's the same thing with, with music. There's no better feeling than when you know that, you know, we're up there uh, and we're feeling good about everything that we're playing and the people are loving it as well. It's hard to put into words, but it, it feels as cool as you think. That's kind of what it feels like, a team going out there trying to make big plays, like over a period of a set, you know, it's like, it's so weird how sports and music are kind of similar when, when one has sort of a competitive ideology in the, in the music, and we're all very competitive musicians up there, and we all want to make each other happy, so that's where the cool competitiveness comes in, it's like, oh, I want to show you something, and then you're going to show me something, and we're going to show each other something, and hopefully we make this big equation. And, that's, and then we just look back, and it's history. Every night's a Super Bowl here at Oakley's. That's right. Game.